Mama June's boyfriend, Gino Doak, sentenced to 16 months in prison. I'm always making decisions on my life, and I can never make them for myself. <laughs> I know you know Honey Boo Boo from the TV show, the memes, the gifs, and the catchphrases, but Alana Thompson, who debuted on TV at only five years old, is now a completely different person to the one you know and probably love. Alana is 16 years old now, and a lot has happened in her life since she quit beauty pageants. Because guys, growing up is challenging, but growing up as a reality TV star is even worse. And to do so while you're surrounded by constant family drama? Well, it hasn't been easy. So let's find out what really happened to Honey Boo Boo. If you saw my video about Mama June, you already know the kind of family that Alana was born into. Alana was born in 2005, and she's the youngest of four daughters that June had with three different men. At least two of Mama June's former lovers have been convicted of inappropriate behavior with minors. So let's just say the household that Alana and her sisters grew up in was not the safest of spaces. But contrary to her sister's fathers, Alana's dad, Mike Sugar Bear Thompson, was actually around as she grew up. Anyway, Alana started competing in beauty pageants when she was very young, at only five, and she appeared in the TLC show Toddlers and Tiaras. I'm gonna run you judges, I don't know what to bet. And she started to become super popular. Alana was so cute and funny and authentic that people were dying to know more about her and her family. TLC didn't miss the chance, so they gave her her own show, Here Comes Honey Boo Boo, which premiered in August 2012. As you may already know, the show had mixed reviews. Some people absolutely adored Alana, others hate watched the show, and the rest called out TLC for making the family look like a bunch of ignorance. The point is, regardless of the different opinions, everybody came to know who Honey Boo Boo was, and the thing that everybody could agree on is that she is iconic. That one makes me holla, honey boo boo. So after a few years of pageantry, in 2013, Mama June announced that Alana would retire from competitions. She had become too busy with some of her other projects, mainly her TV show, oh, and school. Because, you know, child stars also need to study. Apart from that, it's not like Alana needed beauty pageants anymore to get acknowledgement, attention, or money. She had already become a TV star. But was Alana actually living the dream? The thing is that behind Alana's bubbly personality and her cheerful, sassy attitude, things were happening in her family that were threatening her happiness. The most severe one was the drama caused mostly by Mama June. In 2014, Mama June was seen hanging out with one of her exes, who was accused of essaying her oldest daughter. This became a scandal for obvious reasons, and Here Comes Honey Boo Boo ended up being canceled that same year. Apart from causing the cancellation of the show, this incident also created tension within the family, mainly between Mama June and Sugar Bear, but also between mother and daughters. For the next few years, Mama June would bring a lot more drama to the family. In September 2014, Sugar Bear and Mama June split up. The main reason was all the mess happening around Mama June and her ex-boyfriend. But there were some other problems in the relationship, like the fact that Sugar Bear often visited dating websites. Sugar Bear, though, appeared to be very sad about the breakup, and he claimed to be willing to work on their relationship to try to keep his family together. Well, to be honest, all I want to work on is getting June and my girls back. And after a while, Mama June decided to give Sugar Bear another chance. In 2015, both of them joined the reality TV Marriage Boot Camp to try to fix the problems in their relationship. But things weren't easy this time around either, and some dark secrets came to light during the show. Sugar Bear had actually cheated on Mama June. In the end, Alana's parents decided they would break up for good. And you guys may imagine, this was really tough for Alana. Alana loves Sugar Bear, but sadly, there has always been some tension in their relationship. According to Alana, it all comes from the fact that Sugar Bear always wanted a boy, so she felt that her dad was always kind of frustrated with having her as his kid. I feel like it's because I'm not a boy. Really? Why would that change? Because when my mom when told was Sugar born. Bear that I was going to be a girl, he didn't want me. He was just like, 
I want a boy. So as you guys can see, Sugar Bear is not exactly a sweet guy, and this is an understatement. After their breakup, Mama June exposed Sugar Bear for being physically and verbally harmful to her and her girls. The saddest part about this is how they had to remain silent about this for the sake of the TV show and pretend that everything was okay. But let's move on. In 2017, once she was single and ready to mingle and rebuild her life, Mama June started her new TV show called Mama June From Not to Hot. The show also featured Alana and her sisters, and it shed light on some interesting details about their life, like the fact that Sugar Bear had gotten engaged to another woman. Mama June had also moved on, and she started dating a man called Gino. As the show went by, Alana's relationship with Sugar Bear became more and more distant, and this made her really sad. Alana tried to connect more to her dad for a while, but there was a point that she just stopped trying, because Sugar Bear clearly had no interest in being a part of her life anymore. Even now, Alana says that her father only sends her some text that he copy and paste and then programs to be sent. And guys, this is really sad and painful. But it's not by any means the end of the drama surrounding the Shannon family. Soon, Alana's relationship with her mother also started falling apart. <laughs> In March 2019, Mama June was arrested for possession of a controlled substance. She had severe problems staying sober, and this meant that she wasn't able to take care of Alana anymore. Alana had to go live with her sister, Pumpkin, and as you may be expecting, this was heartbreaking for her. Do you I'm not sorry. understand that I am staying with my sister? And that's not my choice. Can you guys imagine how hard this must have been for Alana? Her mother abandoned her to go get high with another man, and her father remarried and forgot about her. And to top it all off, this family tragedy was being filmed and transmitted for the whole world to see. Needless to say that there was a lot of crying during this stage of the show. And guys, Pumpkin was only 20 years old at the time. But despite her young age, she eventually obtained legal guardianship over her younger sister. And as of September 2021, one, Alana is still living with Pumpkin. While all of this was happening, Alana was also experiencing the hardships that come with growing up, heightened by the presence of the cameras. And one of the main challenges she had to face was the hate she was getting online. From 2018, Alana started to become more and more active on Instagram. Her presence on the platform was growing quickly and she was getting tons of new followers. After all, everyone knows who Honey Boo Boo is. As of today, she has almost a million followers. But as you guys know, when the following count increases, the hate also becomes louder and stronger. People criticized Alana a lot and the comments became particularly harsh when she appeared on Dancing with the Stars Juniors. As Alana shared pictures of her participation in the show with her dance partner Tristan E. Janeiro. People started writing super mean comments on her posts. The worst was the body shaming. People wrote to her things like, ew, or they told her that she has no shape. How could anyone do this to a kid? Alana is clearly a really strong girl, and she has always been known for her sass and her ability to clap back at comments like, can't stand me? Take a seat. However, I can't help but think that the hate she gets on Instagram must hurt a lot. She was literally just a kid when people started being mean to her online. Can you imagine the damage that these horrible comments can cause to her self-esteem? And let's not forget that it's not only random people on the internet who sense hate to Alana. The media has often depicted Honey Boo Boo in really horrible ways, making fun of her family, her weight, and her looks in general. She was even featured in a South Park episode. My name's Honey Boo Boo and I'm a beauty queen! I honestly have no idea how someone can make these type of jokes about a literal child. It's cruel. And I just hope Alana can find ways to ignore the hate or at least cope with it within a healthy way. Moving on, you guys. As Alana dealt with online hate and a lot of family drama, she kept trying to push her own projects forward. In August 2020, she went on Instagram to announce that she would release a beauty box. It was called Beauty by Boo Boo, and it contained some of her favorite beauty products. A few people managed to get the beauty box while it was on the waiting list stage, but sadly, the response Alana got wasn't amazing. But for me, I just, it's 100% not worth the $100. If they ever come out with another one of these boxes, I would caution you a little bit before spending the money on it. As it wasn't a big hit, it turns out that the beauty box is no longer available to purchase. But hey, this wasn't Alana's first attempt at doing something like this, so hopefully she can try to do it another time with better quality products and proper guidance. Alana has a long career ahead of her and plenty of time to fulfill her dreams. After all, she just turned 16. And by the way, to celebrate her birthday, she did something really special. <laughs> 
For her sweet 16, Alana was interviewed for Teen Vogue. And guys, her pictures are stunning. But the actual interview is even better. Alana took the occasion to share some aspects of her life that people never ever imagined and that she never had talked about before. She also looked back at her past as a beauty pageant queen and it looks like she remembers it lovingly. She does look really cute to be honest. Regarding her education and future, Alana said that she's studying a lot to get straight A's at school and that she would love to become a neonatal nurse. She's also working hard to be able to buy her own car. Alana also reflected on her Instagram presence and revealed that people appear to be surprised that she's now wearing long nails and fake eyelashes. Many of her followers seem to be in shock still about how much she has grown. Alana thinks that people still expect her to be little honey boo boo, but she's someone different now. And this appears to be a very important thing for her. Her exact words were, my mama did not name me honey boo boo. My name is Alana. So it looks like Alana is in a much better place now, where she's trying to separate herself from her past as Honey Boo Boo and the family drama, she's starting to take her life in the direction she prefers. However, Alana's life was so influenced by her TV shows that it's probably going to be a little bit difficult for her to leave everything behind. Alana told Vogue that she finds it hard to trust people because they see her as something that she's not. That's why she doesn't have a lot of friends. Then she added that her only friend is her boyfriend. Because by the way, Alana does have a boyfriend now. According to The Sun, it's a 20-year-old college student named Draylen Carswell, and they started dating in March 2021. So guys, Alana has clearly had a really intense and complicated life, even at her young age, and hopefully things will start falling into place for her now, and she'll have a bright future. She has an amazing presence, and she's super funny. So a lot of people love her and wish the best for her. What do you think the future holds for Alana? Let me know in the comments below.